Ciao a tutti ragazzi, siamo tornati con un'altra parte del let's play di Metal Gear Solid Nella parte scorsa siamo stati catturati e torturati da Ocelot eh, Dobbiamo uscire dalla prigione, ci sono tre modi per farlo Quello che faccio io è chiamare Ocelot, che non capisco perché il codec non mi, sa non mi salva mai nei contatti Non ho premuto il suo pronto destro, ecco Ok, ha detto che arriva subito. In realtà eh, ora dovremmo aspettare tipo un casino, dovremmo aspettare tipo due minuti prima che accada qualcosa. Ecco, poi succederà questo. Vedete, Ocelot ci rifà la tortura. Ma è esattamente identica a quella della parte precedente. Quindi non ve la faccio neanche vedere. Ed eccoci di nuovo qui in cella. Ora aspettiamo ancora un po' e dovrebbe arrivare una chiamata sul nostro codec. Okay, Snake. Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. Oh, poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. Mm. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? A shiatsu massage. How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? There was no way you could know. It happened in Zanzibar land six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So? Is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? It's what we wanted. Me. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis said. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. Oh, Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, It's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. <gasps> Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. Didn't you try to kill each other? It's true. We did. In Zanzibar land. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? 
Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. But that's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. It makes no sense. Just violence murdering each other. Yeah. I think so, too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed toward violence. You really like talking about genes. Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were. Or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? I thought if I could thoroughly understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry. I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Ok, dopo questo infinito dialogo, aspettiamo un altro po'. Eh, ecco qua. <ride> ecco, qui c'è già un modo per scappare. Cioè, mentre la guardia è in bagno, noi ci nascondiamo sotto il letto e quando torna entrerà nella, nella, nella cella per ispezionarci. Allora noi lo stordiamo e usciamo. Però io ho chiamato Otacon, quindi aspetto che arrivi. Eccolo qua. Non lo vediamo perché è invisibile, ma è arrivato. Lo vediamo sul radar. Hey, I'm here. Where? It's me. Otacon. Wow. They even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. Let me go, that hurts. Ah. Hurry up. Snake, is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. an animal's cage. What a smell. Not because of him. Hi! It's the DARPA chief. If you don't hurry up and get me out of here, I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. We need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. 
she's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <clears throat> He's coming back. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. Ecco, il secondo modo per andarsene è sdraiarsi e usare il ketchup per fingersi morti. Il terzo modo sarebbe aspettare ancora finché non verremo liberati da ninja. Cioè Grey Fox. Oh, sono morto. Ciao. Attenzione. Ciao. Esilarante. Esilarante e patetico allo stesso modo. Allo stesso tempo. Allo stesso modo. Quindi lì c'è una telecamera. Per farla fuori dobbiamo prima riprendere le nostre cose. Io sono qua. Una scatola volante. E voilà, ecco tutti i nostri oggetti. Uh, abbiamo anche un altro oggetto, ovvero bomba a tempo. Praticamente questa bomba, cioè questa qui è una bomba, fa 4 minuti e esplode. Uh, se noi ce la teniamo entro, cioè, qualcosa tipo 30 secondi prima che esploda, ci chiama Grey Fox e ci dice di lanciarla via. Possiamo lanciarla via anche adesso. Ovviamente Oslot ci ha messo una bomba nel nostro inventario nel caso noi dovessimo riuscire a scappare. Quindi distruggiamo la telecamera, aspettate che non vedo bene. Da... Ok. Devo tenere prima la faccia attaccata allo schermo per mirare. Ci troviamo dove eravamo all'inizio del gioco, quando abbiamo incontrato il diretto da DARPA e Mary per la prima volta. Stavolta ci sono delle telecamere che prima non c'erano. Quindi anche se qui non ci torneremo più, distruggiamo una volta per tutte. Bene. Veloce, veloce. Non ho tempo da perdere. Andiamo prima piano. E dobbiamo rifarci di nuovo tutta la strada per arrivare dove abbiamo sconfitto Sniper Wolf. Ancora una volta. No. Eh, non mi ricordo se qui ci sono i laser. Dove sono? Ecco. No, non ci sono. Canyon M9 No Cazzo non vieni qua ti prego Mi remi in cielo, mi raccomando. Ciao. Bellissimo, non, mi non me ne cagato minimamente. Dai, dai, 
non mi vedi torno indietro veloce 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 B1 vero? non mi ricordo mai si sì, dovrebbe essere B1 Oh, non mi sono ancora fatto scoprire Quindi andiamo Cioè, secondo me Metal Gear Solid è più difficile l'inizio che la fine Più si va avanti più diventa facile, secondo me Ok, ora dobbiamo attraversare i lupi, sì, non letteralmente. Dobbiamo attraversare la caverna dei lupi, ecco, meglio. Se ora abbiamo il fazzoletto... Mi sembra di aver... Non l'ho mai provato, però mi sembra di aver letto che se abbiamo il fazzoletto di Sniper Wolf loro non ci attaccheranno perché c'è il, il suo odore. Nel senso, proprio proprio con il suo profumo. Ti prego, fai che sia vero. Che carini. Oh, che bello, hanno anche cuoricino. Perché non vedo niente? Che belli. Molto meglio che spararli con un M9. Boh, questione di punti di vista. Passaggio sotterraneo. Filmato inutile. Listen to me. I... I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that. She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master? What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master? Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kid yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. 
Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi? I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Bene, direi che questo qui è un buon punto per terminare par un'altra parte del let's play di Metal Gear Solid. Se il video vi è piaciuto cliccate quel pollice che butta verso l'alto. Io vi saluto e ci vediamo alla prossima parte. Ciao ragazzi e alla prossima!